Isn't that? <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was a fabulous. Just goes straight into the camera. What's right? Truly what? exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Well, he was punching a bag or retarded. He's holding up his arms with his elbows out and stuff. Guess we're in a sparring session now. My ugly ass Adidas gloves. Fuck off, mate. Keep it up. Hey, man. Well, you want to back up some more? If you can't last here. Does it look like I can't last in here? Being the share, this dude. Keep those elbows in. I didn't touch my guard at all. So I thought. Audio sinking. I love that combo. Lifts the head up and then you smack it on the way down. Nice. You okay? Beautiful kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight too. <laughs> Gus, despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way that the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no use to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you were good at it. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. He's a bit of a prick. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. All right, here we go. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. And we're in the good old dressing room. Getting ready to punch off. I hate his gloves, man. It's just these basic bitch gloves. And Red Everlast. I want, I want some rivals. I want some fucking France. I don't want that shit. And a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against the KG veteran, Lucius Palmer, from here at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Remember, double up. So round one, one bitch. underway, Andre Bishop against Lucius Palmer. So many times we talk about the nerves that somebody makes. It's all about combo speed with this dude, having. I'm pretty sure. Don't expect that out of Andre Bishop, not with his amateur pedigree. A stabbing right hand comes mm, in bitch. from Andre Bishop. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Boy, it's about volume. You can't block more than a few punches. Well, 
You tell me. You know what both of these guys bring to the table. You see I tried to jab, and not one jab came out in that. No, I think it's kind of like walking outside your house and you see those dark storm clouds. You know it's going to rain. It's going to rain. What a destructive headshot by Palmer. Yeah, come on. You try and steal the fight at the end of the round. I'll dick really you. Take each other out. What's the best means of defense? No, it's the first half still. Himself, yeah. I'm not the power puncher. Then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. And That's it. Long range, he's able to get his Come on. How many hits? Ow. Just kicked my first position too. I didn't mean to do that. And then I hit him with two hooks just to finish him off. I like it. Get up then, bitch. First round knockout. Let's go. Yeah, no. Nah. It's four seconds. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Flush right hand to the head. No, don't hug me, and bitch. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. You say that every and single fight. All right, let's go. Teddy, he's wobbling. Oh, that's <laughs> I hit him with that little tickle jab at the end. <laughs> Damn, his teeth, man. Down. It's all face jiggled. Boop. <laughs> he's bopped his nose, so he just collapsed. One, Go on, two, get up then, bitch. Three, get up then, bitch. Four, hey, first round knockout. Hey, that's the guy I had an argument with Floyd Mayer there. I can't remember his name. Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Nice. Oh, it's the back training. I like this. I'm all right here for the most part. Building a record fight in Nova. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm going to help you get there. Oh, fuck off. I did that right. Sometimes it just makes you, it says you did it wrong even though you didn't. And I want you to show me that And it doesn't sense it punches. Jesus Christ. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. Okay, dude. I don't care, Gus. Gus? Is it Gus? Yeah, it's Gus. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans. I got to be retarded. We welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Ward. Nazi salute. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's touch gloves. Ooh, he's got tassels. Let's have a good clean fight. We welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop chair. and Mike Walker. For the official introduction, we send it up to the ring. Okay. Well upstairs with the right oh hand. shit. Okay, this guy's kind of big. Well, let's talk about what well, he looks big anyway. This could end up being because as far as I need to not play it, like me. These guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, I'm trying to like jab him out. And these guys that's not Andre style. Andre style is knockout. He is damaged badly there. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, come on, man. I don't even know what happened. He blocked it. 
for that one hit for some reason. And then ba bam. Nice. It's flat on his face. Showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being okay. I missed all of those. Good job with three flush in the bitch right hand. Okay, to the body, to the body, to the, to the head. Fuck me. Walker's bang by a big upper. Can I fucking hit him, please? Stop walking backwards. How many times am I gonna stun him? Jesus Christ. And continue on. Another first round knockout, or are we? Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh shit! I did. Fair enough. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Give me that body. Give me that head. Give me that side step. I didn't, he didn't do what I wanted. Body. How do you like this jab? Come on. You're going to throw something, you're going to be a pussy. I know I knocked you down twice, but so the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Walker's got fine. You want to go into the second round? I get it. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful. Yeah, you keep your guard up. You'd be sensible. I'm getting you in the second round, mate. I'm getting you in the second round. Well, we've had the pleasure of Fuck off, Gus. I don't care about what you have to say. I'm gonna knock this bitch out. Sides that punch. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want me? You want me? Well, I'm not here. Ah. About his will. And that's something that might show itself before this night is over. Come here, bitch, come here, bitch, come here, bitch. Sometimes a guy is making a sound. Yeah, you want that hook. You eat that left hook. Maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Whoop. Hey, that timing fucked up because it's delayed. Although my, my reaction speed isn't actually that great. I suck at sparring right now. Bishop's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Come here, bitch. Right hand. Hit you with a jab. Hit you with a right hand. Has the big, big what is that haircut? I just realized the back of his head. There's nothing there. Go on again he hits the deck. Nice. Oh, Get up then, bitch. So he might figure it out. Second round knockout. What's the guess that the next one's a third round knockout? Cool. Your boy won. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took us in after our parents died. Keep that jab going. There was not a single jab there. <laughs> that was a very short, interesting, informational cutscene right there. Ladies and gentlemen, can Wilfred Rosario do what Mike Walker and Lucius Palmer were unable to do? Andre Bishop now 2 0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Hi, oh, Hitler. Oh, okay, I'll skip that. I was wondering if I hit Hitler quick and then. Yeah. Here we go. Wow! Let me just see that again. Look at that. Bat. Fuck you, buddy. I didn't even get a full extension on it. One more time. Sorry, one more time. Whoop. Bat. All right. Let me let me instant replay that. I need to save that. Except there's not. Okay. Well, I've recorded it on YouTube. What the fuck am I talking about? I see. Get up from that. Oh, he's gonna be fine. Rosario's up 
from the knockdown. But <laughs> this is the exact.